right indices and logarithm this time around and uh, we are looking at logarithm in this case we've already looked at indices and we saw the laws and the properties and how to apply them in the questions that we solved now let's look at this it's so simple the laws of indices are the reverse of logarithm and vice versa right so if you recall the laws of indices we said anytime you are multiplying equal basis what did you do you add their powers and it was well explained practical so when you watch indices you get it better then when there's a division of equal basis what did you do subtract their powers subtract their powers that one too was explained and when there's a power the power comes down to multiply or when there's a root the root goes there as a power right the root becomes power the root number becomes power then reciprocate it over there we also saw that when there's a bracket there's a power inside a bracket and outside a bracket do what multiply the one inside by the one outside the brackets are you okay that is what we saw we saw the properties now let's look at the laws of indices if this also goes to sorry let's look at the laws of what logarithm so let's start the process go all right so like you said it's just a reverse of what <coughs> indices so in this case law one or first law addition of log of the same basis right this log of base 10 that's log of base 10 i don't see anything attached behind you multiply the log numbers they don't have powers they have log numbers multiply the log numbers so you get the reverse so this what we get so these are examples if i have log 3 this log log 5 base 3 plus log 7 base 3 since the basis are the same i have a right to apply the law by multiplying them because it's addition simple are you okay so let's move on <laughs> interesting right we also saw the division here so here when there's a subtraction of equal basis what did you divide the log numbers and you can get it this way right so that is how it goes so the reverse of indices is the loss of logarithm and vice versa. All right, let's look at other laws. When there's a power, right, on top of the log number, it comes down to do what? Multiply. You remember the root sign? The root. When you have a root here, so when we had something like, let's say, root 2 of A, we said A to the power. One over two. So when you have a power, you bring it down. When you have this, bring it down. We do this lifting, taking it up when you want to have equal basis. That's why normally we do that. But here, if you want to evaluate, that is why you bring it down. So as we answer questions, you see how it works. So it comes down to multiply. So whatever answer you get over here, you multiply by whatever number you have. So example is this the four comes here. So you get four long. 20 be 7. Then you continue your business. Depend on the factors or the figures that you get. Alright. Okay. Now the properties. Properties are characteristics of numbers or in mathematics. Log 1 base any number at all. No, no matter the base, the answer is 0. Log 1 base any number, the answer is 0. We can prove this by applying the meaning of log so if i have a log like this so let's come to that before we can confirm whether it's true or not log a base b equal to c now when you write equal sign and what follows is what answer this is the base we know and this is what the log number this is the log number you can label it that way to make it easy the meaning of log is that hmm, you raise the base to the power of the answer equal to the log number. So b power c 
might be equal to a so you move forward and come back across move forward come back across do you get it so the base raised to the power of the answer what you see in this case is equal to a that's how every log will be so if one of them is missing just write this in this manner where is the base find just identify the base the base may be base 3. So write base 3. So in this case, the base is what? B. Where is my answer? My answer is C. Equal to the log number. This is what I'm making. Did you get me? Very, 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 very important. Very important. So that is the essence. So when we come here, look at this example. Log 1, base this, base 20, equal to what? 0. Why? What is the base? 20. What is the answer? Zero because after equal sign, this is the answer. So zero equal to one. Is it not true? We saw it in logarithm that any non zero term raised to the power zero, the answer is what one. Yes. So it brings you to indices, then you continue. That's why you combine it indices and logarithm. Right? They intertwine, they move hand in hand. They, they are just like twins. So that's why I call it intertwine. They move hand in hand. So that is the meaning of log. So anytime something is missing that you are looking for, write the meaning of log down. The answer will come. You are free. So let's see. So that's it. So that's the first property. Log one base anything, any any number at all, no matter the base, the answer is zero. Keep it there. And the explanation goes that I'm giving to you. So let's move. And also log of a number base itself. The answer is one. Yes, it's a property. Let's apply the meaning of log. What is the base? 10. Power the answer. What is the answer? 1. Equal to 10. It's not true. So log 10 base 10 is 1. Log 3 base 3 is 1. Log 5. Log 5 base 5 is 1. Log 2 base 2 is what? 1. It is proven by this. So they meant to do the base with the part of the answer and cut the log number. The one missing will come out. If you take it to the indices, then you apply indices property. I get it. So this is missing. Here the log the answer is what missing. So what do we do? The base raised to the power of the answer, which is x, equal to e to one. You apply this property. Are you okay? I get your answer finally. So it's so simple for you to apply. And you know that when it's objective, you can apply calculator. You know that. When we are solving the uh, the, uh, the past concept, what the way I'm going to apply calculator to get it is this equation. Any equation, apply calculator, and get your answer. So you raise a base here, so you can be 3 to the power of x equal to 3 power to give me 81, it's 4. Therefore, x equal to 4. If the bases are the same, equate the powers and so. If the powers are also the same, equate the base and so. You remember that property, right, in indices. So watch indices to get understanding in logarithm better. Okay, good. So looking at more examples here, you can see log 125 base x equals 3. So the base raised to the power of the answer equals 125. So x, what can I make equal? Something power 3 will give 125. What is that? This one, I cannot make the base equal. There's nothing I can do to 20, 125 to 10 to x. So I can make the powers work equal. What number is that? It's 5. 5 power 3 equals 30. So now, if the basis powers are also the same now, equate the basis and what? So that is the answer, x equals 5. So if you just write the base raised to the power of the answer equal to the log number. The base raised to the power of the answer equal to the log number. So when that log number is missing, just identify the base from the other terms. The moment you see the other terms, you know the base. Apply the same base. And the answer is that rare number.